Okay, so for those of you guys that watch my videos, you know that I am pretty frugal, pretty much as cheap as they come. So I'll try not to spend an excessive amount of money on things that I don't need. But there are times where I like to buy things that I really enjoy like jewelry and um, part of a jewelry, which I've always liked my whole life, there are stones. And when I started to kind of like look into the different stones, precious stones, gemstones, crystals, and stuff like that, I always just kind of liked crystals as well. So I basically like nature, <laughs> natural things that come from the earth that I don't get to just take off the street for free. So I have to purchase them. I haven't really felt like I've wasted any money recently though, buying anything I didn't need. But yesterday I did go to the mall and randomly like walked into this store and it was all just like, amethyst like crystals tables like a glass table with like an like a giant amethyst looking cave on the bottom and that caught my eye I spent like way too long I was probably in that store for like an hour so when i was first in there and i was looking around stuff i picked up this crystal shaped like a tree but it had like the green peridot on the top and then um i think pink quartz on the bottom to pretend like it was a rock that the tree was sitting on. So it was very, very pretty. I picked it up and what I assumed was the store owner and it ended up being the store owner was like, whatever you see, just let me know what you like and I'll give you a good price. So when he said that, I'm like, wow, I, I, I randomly just felt like I got teleported back into Spain where I was doing a lot of bargaining literally everywhere, like in the mall, outside, on the street. <laughs> so I'm like, yay, perfect, bargain time. I don't know why, but it's like, whenever I'm told I can bargain in a place like an American mall where I don't expect to be able to bargain, I feel like that, that does it for me. You know, that does it better than, you know, buy two items and get one for free or buy two items and get two for free. Like those sale tactics don't really work on me anymore, but, Something about being able to bargain and haggle in a mall in the US. I'm like, yes, sign me up, take my money, just take my money. So I'm like, hey, I have to get something now. This this guy's gonna give me a deal. So I walked around and found this. Isn't it so crazy looking? I was like, what is this? I picked it up. And immediately, I already knew that I was gonna buy this, but I asked the guy, I'm like, what do you do with this? Do you, <laughs> I didn't say, do you stab someone with this? But I'm like, what is this? I, I don't understand it. It's like kind of pointy, as you can see over here. The back is like a crystal ball and it's made of, like I could tell it's lapis lazuli, like this stone. And then I don't know what these little ones are, but he told me those are natural. I don't know if they're actually natural, but when I was walking around the store, he did tell me certain things that I picked up that had color injected in it or were not fully natural. So I kind of like that when people tell me, you know, like, okay, this is something that's worth money or this had color added onto it because I hate it if I already know there was color in it and then someone tries to sell me on believing that there weren't any modifications. He told me, the store owner told me that this is actually used in many cultures where it's for pressure points. So if you believe that there are parts of your body where if you kind of poke it and hit those certain spots, that it will give you some type of a health benefit or like a health reaction, then that's what this thing is supposed to be used for. But again, never health advice on my channel entertainment purposes only and i mean without knowing what this was i just thought it was really cool looking i'm like i'm gonna buy this regardless but knowing that people use this for pressure points i'm like even better because my mom actually like she tells me all the time that i need to like like pressure use my hand so usually she uses like her hands to press certain parts of the body to like 
help adjust random pains that she has. Like she'll always tell me like if I'm sick or if I'm coughing or something like that, like where to press a certain point in my body. Like the other day my nose was running and she was like, just, just press like, I think she called it a little ear. She's like, just, I don't know what this spot is called, but that spot, she's like, just press that spot. And then I promise your nose would stop running. And I'm like, no mom, I'm just gonna take Tylenol. So I didn't do that. I mean, I tried it for like a couple seconds and then I got annoyed at the fact that my nose was still running, but maybe I didn't do it long enough, but whatever. She believes in pressure points. I believe that whatever you believe in will probably help you with achieving results than you not believing in it and doing something. So yeah, I got one of these. It was $65, I actually got two, one as a gift. This one was 65 and then the other one was $75. It was slightly taller than this, but it looks like nearly the same, but never exact because they're supposed to be natural. Um, and it was 75 and $65. The guy told me that I could tell him what price I wanted. And I thought I went very low, but apparently not because at 65 and $75 USD each, I told him I will pay $30 each. And he was like, right away, sure, take it. And I'm like, man, I, I didn't haggle good enough because usually I like it when people are like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not taking that deal. I'm not taking that deal that is way too low. And then we go a little bit higher. So maybe I didn't do a good job haggling, but I felt like, 65 and 75 dollars for something and me paying 30 bucks each for it was a good deal i don't care it's something that i like and even if i don't use it for pressure points and whatnot because my mom told me a bunch of pressure points i don't really <laughs> do them uh i think it's just really cool like art piece that i like to see laying around it's almost like a pen but not really or like a magical wand or like i don't know those sticks that you pass around at camp which i never went to and um you're like allowed to talk this could be like a mic when it's your turn to talk i give you the mic i don't know maybe maybe i will have other uses in the future with this magical wand but i didn't stop there i didn't just spend 60 dollars there the owner was really cool he kept teaching me stuff and at one point he was like you're really good like i'm a salesperson <laughs> Even though I was coming up with prices, trying to like bargain down on him. Um, but he was like, you're really good at selling stuff. He's like, you should, you should do this for work. And I'm like, yeah, I, I've been, I've been told to be a salesperson many times over. Doesn't even surprise me anymore. Um, and he was trying to get me to like find buyers preferably for his store which is actually closing down soon which hence makes sense why he was allowing me to like do all these bargains he was like he's like you can buy this for there was this table um by an artist named tony burke i believe uh, is what he taught me and this artist supposedly designed um caesar's palace like the swimming pool or like the ceiling area, some type of a design or some type of chandelier also in Vegas that's famous um, for the casinos. And he was saying, well, I've never heard about Tony Burke or like this artistry and the type of designs in Vegas, but I do admire the artwork in Vegas as well, the designs and whatnot. And Caesar Palace is clearly beautiful. But he was telling me about the artist and how he has a table that he bought off of an auction from Tony Burke's family and whatnot. And now he's selling the table for $15,000. Honestly, I like the table. And I, if I had $15,000 laying around, I might've considered buying it off of him. But he was like, you should buy it or you should find someone that's willing to pay more for it. And then you can just right away make money off of that. I was like, thanks. <laughs> I would totally do that if I knew a bunch of very, very rich people willing to buy. 15 or 20k tables. I did buy two more things, or really the same thing, but two pieces, and uh, I did bargain a little bit more. Honestly, I think all the fun is just part of bargaining for me. But check it out. So pretty, right? These are actually pretty heavy. Amethyst, raw, just amethyst rocks. 
they ha like he had a whole bunch of these and right away I knew I needed to have one I have like small agates like I have like raw carved out agates but I don't own any amethyst and I think I think I, like purple's not one of my favorite favorite colors but something about amethyst I could just look at it for a very long time and it feels magical so it's funny like when I hold on to these my hands have like this funny like rocky smell but yeah there was a bunch of these at the store he had like ginormous ones like I said and also like a whole cave looking like table um table stand and then on top of the table was just like pure glass honestly I thought that was really pretty I wouldn't mind having that if I had a a place of my own and I needed a table to have a amethyst cave glass table but yeah these are so nice and they were $90 so there were a bunch of these um, these two each of them had a $90 sign on it but of course I wasn't gonna pay $90 knowing that he was gonna allow me to haggle these babies I try to haggle him I try to offer him $25 each at first and he was like $50 for both he's like no that's not happening <laughs> where I knew I was going you know the right direction by kind of like offending the person a little bit with my low blow price points um, but he was nice he still worked with me he said no to my $50 offer for both so $25 each and um, we kept going back and forth and eventually we settled with him taking $70 cash so I paid 70 cash for two of these. So that's really $35 each. And considering they were $90 each, at least that's what the price tag said, and that's what they would have sold for um, if he wasn't closing his shop. So I'm very lucky for that. I mean, it's not like I go around and shop for Amethyst all the time, but I do know that like a giant one, like those huge cave looking ones, like a raw cut, like straight from the mine, amethyst, giant rock, a huge one, like from the top of my head to like my waist. Something that tall would be near upwards, like a thousand dollars or something. So I think like two chunks like this, because I can't afford a giant one, I would like to one day, is <laughs> nice. I can use these as like bookends, I feel like. Not that I have that many books to hold up. Or it's kind of like a bowl. I could put like jewelry on here or like bracelets. Or I could honestly just like have it sit on the table and just be happy looking at it because I think it's so pretty. But they're so sharp. So you do have to be careful um, when you're holding amethyst. But I asked the guy and they said that that's just like how it's actually shaped, which is pretty crazy if you think about it that they're shaped like these awesome little pyramid looking mini little pyramid looking things and there are certain amethysts out there where you know how like these ones are very like small little points there are ones with like a giant point like the size of your head <sighs> one little I don't know what to call it but like one little bump out from the amethyst it's like a huge size. I'm weird. I love these things. They just kind of make me happy. I, I feel like people buy these for like energy, right? Like crystals for energy and healing. I feel like I just buy it because I think it's pretty and I feel magical around them. So that's why I get it. Not for healing or anything like that. Um, and I'm not sure if I believe in healing with crystals. I don't feel bad holding up these crystals near me, but I also don't feel like it's healing me in any way. Again, um, I think it's all just about what you choose to believe in, just like my mom and all her pressure points. I like this just because it's kind of like a collection for me. Like I like jewelry, I like stones, I like pretty sparkly things. And um, these amethyst stones were definitely worth it in my opinion let me know down in the comment section below if you feel like i got a good deal for these 35 dollars each 30 dollars for one of these guys 
Or do you think I got played and ripped off? But since the economic value of a good is subjective, there's really no true getting ripped off, in my opinion. If I had a good time and I learned a bunch of random things at the shop and bought back some pretty little things that make me happy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Ring that notification bell to know whenever my videos begin. And smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Bye!